I signed my work NIAP, but my name is Nancy Saunders. I am a multidisciplinary artist. I'm originally from Kujuak Nunavik, a small community of 2,500 people. It depends on the inspiration. I'll do carving, textile work, painting. Drawing is something that I've been doing the longest. I've tried printmaking, throat singing. Growing up in Kujuak, we were 1,500 people. It was super tiny, and I remember dreaming with these National Geographic magazines, and I've always wanted to kind of see the world, and I felt very fortunate when Avatak, the Nunavik Cultural Institute, approached me with this potential residency. So I applied, and to my surprise, I was accepted, and so very fortunate, so grateful. It was very surprising to me that there was very, very, very little beadwork in Finland. It was so difficult for me to find beads, to find anything for beadwork. There's a lot of knitting, there's a lot of wool that you find everywhere, but beading is not a practice that Finnish people do traditionally. The piece that I started in Finland is very much inspired by the Subvihutik. The Subvihutik is a chess piece that Inuit women will adorn their parkas with. Their parkas are the amautiks, the coat where you carry the child. What I worked on is inspired by that, with the intricate flowers. I was inspired by the materials traditionally were used to make parkas. The felt when it was introduced with the arrival of the trade. Felt and leather and just regular materials, like regular cotton or sheep leather that I got in Finland. It's inspired by that, but it's also inspired by so many other things about Inuit garments or accessories. And it's just kind of a homage to all of that. Malakta is a center that has so many activities going on. There's uh, the knitting in the evenings and after school activities, art activities, oil paints or whatever. And, and one of these the days while I was there, there was a printmaking workshop and it was just something fun that I wanted to participate in. And I was teaching the children that come for, I think they come like twice a week for art workshops. So I taught them a very basic bracelet making pattern. Beading is something that takes a very long time to do. It's a long process. So we didn't quite have the time to like finish the bracelets, but very quickly they got into it. It was fun to share. It was a lot of uh, human connection for me in this residency, a lot of discussion. Meeting Tatiana, we got along very, very quickly. Tatiana can be my aunt, my mom, my sister, my cousin in so many ways. It was wild to see the struggles that we shared as Indigenous people, even though we're coming from so far apart. And it's the same, completely the same. Shared trauma, shared philosophies of life, shared desires for the future. I showed people of Malakta <laughs> Inuit games like uh, the arm wrestle, the arm pull, the leg wrestle, very physical games and very testing of the strength. And it was so fun. Malakta has like a very, very, very special place in my heart. The people who are there are so eternally amazing, so human. For someone like me from such a small community, it's very mind-opening and I very much enjoyed this to have been able to see how other artists struggle. It was very much on a human level that we connected, all the artists.